What's cracking guys, Omar Yusuf here, back with another video. In this video today, we got a banger, we got a serious one, we got a big topic. Yes, we're talking about steroids, but it's a piece of new information that is alarming. So for those that are considering using steroids, you should sit down, listen to the entirety of this video, and maybe let's have a conversation at the end of it, because there was a recent study, 2017, taking a look at the cognitive abilities of males that use testosterone. There was 243 men in this study, so it's a large sample size. I have to give a quick shout out to Greg Knuckles for bringing attention to this. I uh, don't think this has been talked about at all in the YouTube fitness community. I know there's an overall negative perception by the media when it comes to steroids, and I think that is, uh, let's say, a little too harsh, their perspective on things. I'm not anti-steroids. I don't take steroids, and I don't plan on taking steroids myself, but I don't judge anyone else for doing it. It's your own personal choice. In fact, I think there's been such a negative taboo on steroids uh, when it comes to uh, people saying it's going to cause immediate kidney failure, liver failure, you're going to die, your skin, a whole bunch of different things, misinformation that steroids have received in general, uh, undeserved negative response by the media and by people outside of the fitness community. However, this is something different because if you care about your cognitive abilities, basically your ability to make rational choices, so you might have impulsive choices if anyone has read and I highly recommend it, Daniel Kyman, thinking fast and slow, essentially the difference between impulsive thinking or being more critical with your thinking, cognitive abilities of reflection, your ability to try and make a choice, think about it, and then judge was that really the best choice, break it down, break down that process, and make perhaps a more informed decision. The alarming uh, part about this study is that it showed those that took exogenous testosterone, aka injectable testosterone, aka steroids, performed much poorer on the test, the cognitive reflection test, out of the 243 men sampled, I think the mean decrease in performance was 20%, which meant that those that had injectable testosterone were much more impulsive with their choices. And so if it is something that actually can truly alter your perception of choices that you make or how fast you make them or your inability, therefore, to make more reflective, take your time, introspective choices where you make more informed, for lack of a better uh, phrase, choices, that's bad. That could be potentially dangerous and that would play into the whole factor. We need a lot more information about that. Um, but that play into the whole concept where people talk about Roy Rage or the media where they over, let's say, uh, uh, condemn these things. But if there really is some sort of cognitive impairment, slight cognitive impairment that occurs while taking steroids or testosterone in particular, we don't know if it's just because it's exogenous, uh, if it's the amount that does it. So there still needs to be a lot more research done. This is just the preliminary uh, research that has been conducted. But looking at the different potential mechanisms from a theoretical aspect, it seems like this might be the case. And just to call an ace an ace, I know there are far more people these days thinking about using uh, testosterone or things like that just because of social media and calling an ace an ace. Uh, like I said, there are a lot of people that are using that don't talk about it. So it kind of has become normalized, this behavior. I think this is super important because it's something that is not talked about because the media has a negative perception already of steroids and a lot of those potential side effects are overemphasized, then the opposite response occurs. Oh, that's, you know what, that's all BS. Like, it's, it's overhyped, all the negative stuff, everything's fine. Well, there might be more serious issues again at play. And so when we talk about your ability to think, is it long term? Is this just short term? Is it because it's injectable? Uh, what's the dose? How much? I would assume if it's a dose response relationship, obviously those that use more over time would have a more impaired cognitive ability. So that could be once again, potentially alarming when we talk about the way we think, the way we make judgments, which are very important when it comes to crucial moments in our lives where we have to make smart, intelligent choices. And then maybe if we're impaired, if our performance, if you look on average, is 20% less uh, the incorrect responses than it would have been before, that's huge. And that's just one study. So more research needs to be done. But also, uh, the other potential ramifications of this would be the absolute ban. And there already is a, a ban when it comes to drugs in sports. But let's say a stricter ban if there's more research coming about than of the potential negative cognitive effects when it comes to the brain, the way that individuals think. 
I think that band will be even stronger than when it comes to sports. There'll be an uh, even bigger crackdown. You best believe, in general, there'll be a lot more stories about this. That whole concept when people talk about roid rage, uh, they'll talk about it a lot more. I'm going to leave a link in the description uh, for those that are interested. You could download the full study, take a look at it. So this is something I think all the young YOLOs, because I know how many YOLOs. I get questions all the time from bros. I'm thinking about doing this. I'm thinking about doing that. It's like, dude, you're 18. You're not even at your natural potential. Why are you even remotely considering these things? Again, I think my stance on this is perfectly clear. I don't use steroids. I don't plan on using steroids. I don't judge anyone else for using steroids, but I also think you should be informed of everything surrounding this. So we'll see as more information comes out, what do you guys think potentially about this information if in fact something like exogenous testosterone, so the injectable type or other forms of steroids, if it impairs your cognitive ability, so on reflection, to be introspective, to make more calm, rational choices, essentially you can't think as well uh, while you're using it, will this influence your choice? Do you think then maybe obviously more research needs to be done to shed some light? If even more negative information comes out, what are you going to do about it? I want to hear from those that use, those that don't use. I'm just curious about your opinion. I thought I'd bring this to light because I did a quick little YouTube search. I didn't see this talked about. I know Greg dug this one up, so it's not something really talked about at all in the community that needs more attention. That's really all the time we have in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, like the damn video, I'm looking right at you, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables.